Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, anong hasiyo? Ga maayong udto kaninyo. Charot. Um, hello, good afternoon. Okay, so um I think um there are just nine people right here over Ilaman galit mo ka buok eh? 20 something. Where are the rest? How the people? Sintag taon paguro, ma'am. Okay. Um, um, okay. So, while waiting, um, for those who came in late, please type in your complete name. That will serve as your attendance for today. Okay. And, uh, if you notice, gamay ramo for now because the other section will have to have another set of workshop after this class at 4 p.m. because the dean and the program head of class will be observing virtually the lesson. So, yay! 30 kay sila. Di sila maobserbahan. <laughs> yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sad to know, no? Before, before ko ang Janila, 4, 4 p.m. yun ang schedule. <laughs> well, anyways, all right. So let's move, uh, let's start. I think we are already um, growing, growing in numbers rather. Okay, so there are already 13 of you right here. So half of the class and that's fine. Okay, so welcome everyone to um, lecture 20, the sports writing article, uh, sports article writing workshop rather. And uh, for this lecture workshop, we will be um, reviewing. Okay, there are three or two parts for this lecture workshop. First is we're going to review uh, the basics that we learned from lecture 19 and we will going to discuss a little bit about how to uh, how to start writing your uh, sports article and then the last part of course is the workshop so we have to uh, we have like 30 minutes to finish this workshop okay so let's go start okay can you see my share screen guys the PowerPoint presentation all right. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Ma All right. So let's start right away. Okay. So you can just listen. And if you have questions, uh, you can unmute yourselves. And of course, um, call my attention as I will, as I cannot uh, see everybody using the share screen. Okay. So let's start. So uh, just a little bit of review. Sports writing is one of the most interesting aspects uh, of the noble profession journalism. So as far as it is um, very hard, it's one of the most fun and fulfilling section in an editorial or in a newspaper publication because it covers news like basketball, volleyball stories, sports editorial and feature a sports feature. It's also the sports section that may also have an editorial cartoon or letters to the editor. So there are some publication that solely focus on sports writing and uh, those can be of the kanang league na sa mga NBA anaba sa and so on so those are for the bigger leagues na siya so um Sports stories ha, uh, have a great interest uh, to readers. According to study, 95% of male readers read the sports page. Okay, so um, I don't know about female female readers, but in the Philippines, basketball games generate so much interest a sports page cannot be without them. Okay, so these are just the basics. Okay, so it said here that sports writing is fun, but it's also hard work. So the writer must impart to this readers the drama, the excitement he sees in the field once he gathers the information for the sports article. So if you might notice, there is a big difference for covering a sports event through writing and through actual or, or live broadcast. So you might feel more the excitement, the adventure, the drama in the broadcast or live uh, reporting of course and there is a uh, it's much more harder to write a sports article okay through writing or publication or uh, yeah publication 
So the manner of reporting athletic events varies with the sport. So one, but one thing is certain: sports writing is livelier because the writer deals with physical motion and action. That's why in sports writing you should be uh, more descriptive and at the same time playful with your language. So we will deal more with that later. Okay, so what are the various types of sports that you can cover in sports writing? So you can have uh, for um, the main league, not just in campus, in the campus field, you can do horse racing, uh, basketball, table tennis, archery, and the like. Okay, you can also do boxing, bowling, chess, even chess is a sport, swimming and cycling, fencing, and so on. So for campus level, uh, basic, those are just the basic basketball, table tennis, if not table tennis, volleyball, um, baseball, bas um, badminton, and so on. Okay, track and field, na po na siya sa high. Okay, now, uh, there are different types of sports reporting, and we have uh, learned about this in the previous lecture. Play-by-play uh, -play account, lead stories. Uh, we also have brief sports stories, uh, which center on straight news reporting, but with a sports flavor. So basically just stating the facts, stress, uh, facts rather, uh, stressing the scores, who is the winner, outstanding incidents, and how the outcome of the game affects the season standing or the overall kanang a standing of a certain event or a certain group of people or players. For example, in the Palaro, the most of, uh, brief, uh, the most outstanding uh, outcome is who will be the champion, overall champion, because basically uh, there are several segments to to announce who is the overall champion, right? And one of that is the sports event. So the sports event have a big impact <clears throat> in considering the overall champion of the Palaro event, for example, uh, in SPC. Okay, we also have sports feature. These are stories that brighten up the sports page. So it's not necessarily about a game. It might have a broader range of subject matter. For example, um, if you heard about the news of Katapitang Athletic Meet, National Athletic Meet, where students from faraway places all over the Philippines join the national competition in Athletic Meet. And there is one case that the students do doesn't have a sh shoes, so they use bandages para himuong um sapatos in the game if you've heard of that news not na tv gato siya so those are example of sports feature it's outside the game but it's still about uh, it features uh, certain highlights okay of the sports industry or the sports games and we also have advanced sports stories. And these are usually uh, backgrounds, premonitions, guess, or kind of analysis of future games that will happen. And these are the uh, kind of sports stories that we usually hear and see before NBA, which is the biggest basketball uh, um, activity or league every year. So those are examples. And we also have follow-up stories, and these stories are furnished post-mortem analysis. So they like, uh, they seem to like analyze what happened in the game and why, why is it ngayon tong outcome niya. So that's why it's called follow-up stories. We also have the sports column. And here we have writing the sports coverage. So these are some of just the guidelines that we learned in a previous lecture. So the reporter must get the following facts for his in uh, for his in-depth sports story. So first is the score of outcome, significance of the outcome, why is it important that you have to report that one, spectacular plays, weather conditions, size of spectators, because uh, the more the spectators of the game is, the more uh, the more it is controversial, controversial or patok in a sense, so readers. Individual stars who are the star players, like for example, most of the uh, news that you heard about NBA is about LeBron James, kato mga star players nila, and so on. Comparison of the team, of course, and then coincidences, if there is any. And in writing the sports news, the sports writer must be guided by the five W's and the inverted pyramid style in writing the sports story. Because basically, sports story are just uh, news reporting, but again, with a sports flavor. So it, uh, it states about facts, okay, but it also has um, a bit of opinion. Okay, especially on commentary, uh, commentary opinions about why did the game ended like this and so on like that. 
Okay, and these are the parts of the newspaper. So one, we have the headline. So we have to use appropriate sports lingo and don't forget the total score. So for example, uh, there is an undesirable example of a headline like Mindanao State University softball players defeat Holy Trinity College softball players. So it's undesirable, although it's, it's acceptable as a headline. It's undesirable in a sense that uh, there is no glimpse to the excitement of this game. So instead, we prefer to say MSU Sluggers Rips HTC Batters 15-5. So here you can feel, we can feel or you can sense the intensity of the game. Okay, using certain words and sports lingo that is necessary to catch the attention of your readers. And... Second, we have the lead. Like any other news reports, a sports story has a lead in a body or text, and it is a tension getter. So the news is an, in a nutshell, uh, in a sense. So we, you have to take note that just like news story, sports story leads are very important in an article. So you can have different kinds of uh, sports lead you can have the classic five w's the key play lead outstanding player lead or the analytical approach lead so you can choose any of that and we also have here what's this the classic okay these are examples these are examples of leads that uh, you can construct in your um sports article so we have the key play lead outstanding player lead and analytical approach lead so you can go over them um after this um lecture workshop and third we have the body so this one here after the lead should include the uh, should include the elements, other elements arranged in descending order or decreasing importance. So if it were a basketball story, report it quarter by quarter. If a volleyball story, set by set or frame by frame. So if softball put siya running by in, uh, inning by inning rather, if boxing round by round, etc. So those are uh, examples of um, if, if, kanisha, if the type of story is very detailed, they're fair for short, um, short brief uh, sports stories, you can just identify what are the highlights and that's enough. And then what are the qualities of sports writers? So we have this, uh, the following. So a sport writer must be a natural descriptive writer and it's important that he must have a feeling and genuine love for the sport. But mom, what if dili ko ganahan sa sport din napugos lang jud ko og sulat? then you have to love the sport, okay, no matter what. So you have to uh, immerse yourself in the sport. If you're tasked to write about it, then uh, research about it, be immersed about it, okay? And the, also training is important in this form of editorial life. And it, a sports writer must always be in the struggle in finding new words, new ways to describe punches, new ideas for stories, because ideas are the currency of sporting journalism. That's why it's always important to do research. And a sports writer must be endowed with a keen memory. So uh, especially if the, the play doesn't have any recordings at all, so the, it's very important for the writer to have a very keen memory. Okay, and a sports writer must have good digestion and significant events and so on. And these are the following objectives of a sports, uh, duty rather, of a sports writer. The main objective or goal is to serve the readers by writing stories, either amateur or professional in nature. Okay, so it's, it's always the duty of the sports writer to provide its reader the juiciest, the most important information about a game or a sports. Okay, and what are these are the following tips for sports writers and the most important one is be minor sports enthusiasts know about the kind of sports that you are covering and write for the average reader do not make use of uh, sports lingo that only the professional uh, sports enthusiasts know about so use active voice and be fair describe the players as much as possible and be careful with statistics so that's why it's very impo for important also to be factual in doing your sports writing okay before we proceed questions so far questions so far so near and so far so question
None, ma'am. None so far. Okay, so those are just the first part. First part pa siya, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so now that we have reviewed about the basic of sports writing, we now proceed to the qualities of sports writing or how to break most of the rules that you've just learned so far. Okay, so these are just the tips that you might want to consider when writing your sports article. Okay, the first one is be objective, but root for the hometown. So if you are, for example, writing for your, uh, for example, you're writing for SPC, of course, and uh, SPC joins ICSA, ano siya? ICSA, uh, ICSA ano? Iligan City Sports Association, cho cho cho. Okay, so, okay, so if you're writing for SPC, of course, you are going to root for SPC. You are going to have SPC as the focus or the focal point of your article, whether they win or lose. So although you have to be objective in a sense that the facts are there, you have to also root for your hometown or your home team because, of course, your readers are those that are related to your school, not to the other ones who are uh, participants of the game. You also have to be, be descriptive. Uh, use colorful language and be very aware of everything. Or if it's really not important who wins the game, just be aware of the things that is happening in the game. And be opinionated. They really want to know what you think about the gameplay. Okay? And, and do's and don'ts of slang language or slang language. Do use original colorful words and phrases. Do not make up things. Okay? Do not make up. Um, sports lingo, like you feel like uh, kuan smash, pwede na siya sa volleyball. Say, smash, uy, nagkuan ka di ha? Sa di ha, ano ba? Okay, so you use original, like existing, existing language of that certain sports. And do distinguish between legitimate slang and jargon, like birdie, eagle, strike out. So those are jargons, okay, that is somewhat not acceptable in, um, in some publication and sports cliche, be careful with sports cliche because some of your readers are not aware of them. Like split the uprights, local Greg Deron, I don't even know that. Okay, so just use simple language, but colorful one. Do you use the actual explanatory word or phrase as much as possible? Like for example, home run, not clear the basis and wrestlers, not grapplers. And don't use 40 different verbs for lost or win. You can just simply say, uh, MSU wins, blah, blah, blah. Okay, or bagged the crown or take home the bacon, something like that. Jo those are just simple uh, things that describes lost or winning. Okay, but do not use any other uh, verbs to describe that. And then it's very important to know your stuff. If you have to write about a sports event, immerse yourself in the sport. Go to the games, watch the TV coverage, listen to radio, play by play, talk to sports, uh, talk about that sports with your friends, or even do your research. Okay, and then uh, for sports coverage, cover every sport. Pretty uh, girl sport as well as boys, okay? lacrosse as well as football those are different kinds of um uh, games that are sports that are less covered because the main highlight is of course basketball and losing teams as well as winning teams in-house sports as well as uh, national or international sports recreational sports as well as school sports and uh, Mom, there are so many sports but so little space how are we going to cover it all Okay, so sports are shorts. There are brief articles that capture relevant information and provide record of events. Like for example, um, in certain bigger uh, publication, national papers or uh, newspapers rather, they have boxes. Like for example, they report scoring records. Like for example, sa NBA playoffs, na isa ka box dara sa kilid in a sports kuan nga. Um, Lakers won against blah, 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 blah. Yan nga score nga na, na uh, game at blah, 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 nga night American time, something like that. So they only highlight the most important parts of the game okay and it's very important to understand the sports that you're covering learn the rules the strategies reason behind the rules and the strategies and get to know the coaches and players of especially uh, the team that you are covering and inside information and you can also do some interviews 
And for sports feature, these are articles that highlight the personal side of sports, like personality, profiles, um, human interests, and so on. So uh, these are side stories about sports, like what I mentioned earlier about um katong national athletic unit nga nay mga bata nga nagbandage sa TL because they don't have the running shoes to use in the game or for example another side story is that katong pagkamatay ni Kobe Kobe Bryant okay that is another example of sports feature okay and then what is uh, a good thing about sports writing it can be partisan it can support a home team a, a, a certain team it can interpret more than news reporters okay because it's opinionated it can explain the tension the color and excitement uh, compare uh, com in comparison to sports news which is just straight news it can include writer's perspective and can use more colorful language. Okay, and what is the bad thing about sports writing? Uh, you must avoid language like jargon, cliches uh, specific to sports. Okay, although it's uh, important to use certain words, grabe na yung iro dari. Must know and understand the sport as well. So you must cover all teams and must cover all the records if it's very important article. And we have here different kinds of stories, pre-game stories, game stories, post-game stories and uh, how about the quotations ma'am should we include quotations of course you should for example if it's very important a game or a contest like an opinion of um an, an analyst rather we uh, it should not highlight only one star player sa isa ka team and should should and must include quotes or um words from the coaches of the team okay and how to gather information for sports articles you can send letters to coaches of opposing teams if you want a pre-game story or if you want a post-game story you can ask this kind of questions how many returning varsities how many starters lost their team size weight and so on strengths and weaknesses so you can ask those questions again okay, it's the, mo the most important thing about sports writing by the way guys is photos okay so action is what we want in uh in a sports article that's why action it is that you should be putting in your photos so we will talk more about fo photojournalism in another lecture but please take note that it's also important when you do real sports writing in the field actual field nugget it's very important to also get a photo that has an action in it okay question so far Questions hey, so uh, far. For example, ma'am, sa katung sa break the rules bitaw na, uh, for example, ma'am, title article na uh, Team One slams the kwan. Pwede ra na siya nga na ma'am. Oh, pwede ra. For example, SPC slams ICC uh, in uh, I, uh, ICI uh, in a uh, in exa um, over, plen, preliminary game. Uh, not necessarily. That's why um, you have to be careful in using language. <laughs> That's why it's very important uh, to be careful in using language. You can use terminology, sports lingo, for a specific uh, game like slam, bagged. Like, for example, in... Um, in basketball, there are certain terminologies that is known by layman or uh, normal people or average reader, and then you can use that. But there are some cliches, Mango, that is, for example, American two American cliches, which is usually adopted, especially for us Filipinos nga nagtanabitag NBAs. Those are not necessary, especially if you're writing on a campus level. So you can use uh, keywords or sports lingo like. Oh, oh, pwede na siya. Oh, wait lang. Sports lingos like a slam, kato siya bagged, or won, for example, like that. Those are example. Um, you can just use those in headlines. Those are very important also to get the attention of your readers. Okay. All right. So we have here a question, ma'am. Pwede mobile legend as a pandemic sport? Pwede, pero wala siya kwan, dear. Uh, features, uh, sports feature story, I think. If you're going to have this as your headline of your article, 
So you're focusing on the the phenomenon of using mobile legend as a sport during the pandemic. So Anasha, pwede na siya, dear. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, I would like to ask, what are the kinds of games that we can cover during this pandemic that we can include in our newsletter? Wala, no? Oh, no. When the tugna ay kuana, like we are in the normal situation, like for now, we, we are actually... Siguro na anata sa kuan, na anata sa field, na, uh, na gather information about the Palero. Palero was like October, no? October, so we could have had that um, actual experience like field, uh, gathering information sa field. You're welcome. Mobile Legend ng Kusog Samoa. Yes, uh, the SKs are usually the ones who are actives providing. And I saw one, and I share o ng live broadcast sa SPC confession ba to? Uh, SPC to siya versus other school, I think. Uh, Wurag na to siya. Pwede po to siya, pero it's not, kuan manggood siya, it's not acknowledged by the school. So that's the problem there. So, mato siya. Pero kung siya, mo siya ang kung ron, e-sport, may tawagan na nila e-sport. So, that's what is trending right now. And available. Okay, questions? Questions so far, so near and so far. Wala na questions? Sa game brawl incident between Australia and Philippines sa una, ma'am. Ma-under sa... Yes! Katong... Pero kadungo ko na nga news nga... Is it katong sa kuan gihapon sa... Is it e-sport? E-sport? Gihapon to siya? Hindi, ma'am. Katong nagsinumbagay bitaw, ma'am. Ah, katong... Asa to? Asa to? Katong... Basketball? Oo, oh, oh, kadungog ko na. O, oh, pwede to siya. Kato siya. Feature to siya. Sports feature to siya. Because uh, you are going to include the side story, Manggula, to. Di ba, na-include pa to ilang na sila gipang, gipang boycott ng mga players. O, oh, kato siya. Pwede to siya. Sports feature to siya. So, there are other aspects or there are different kinds of approach that you can write uh, in a sports. And it's a very kanang... It's very fun because kung magulo siya or sports siya, then daghan kaya siya o ka ng direction nga pwede ni mo siya igun ba in a sports event. For example, pwede ka mag-feature, mag-editorial, pwede ka mag-play-by-play nga story and so on. Okay, questions, more questions. Um, in terms of esports, guys, um, it's okay to write esports um sports story about esports or sports article about for example mobile legends dota as long as um you're writing for what who you are writing for are actually concerned about that kind of event for example um kana mga as kana mga mobile legends sa tournament nga gina provide sa SK and you're going to write about it but you're going to publish it sa kanang for example sa SPC and sa gina sa SPC na publication Penwood oh Penwood for example the EIC or editor in chief would probably not you know kanang publish your article because it's not related to the school or to the uh, campus body itself. All right. Okay. Okay, pass. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's uh, continue. If you have no question, then let's proceed to the workshop. Workshop, workshop, workshop. Let me see. All right. So for our workshop, we are going to write a story, a sports story based on the following facts. So since we cannot go to the field and observe and get information, these are the facts as to which you are going to base your sports article. So these are just the information. Last night, February 7, 2019, uh, where SPC covered court. Um, what is it about? The last games of the elimination round for the 11th Ixa'a Intercampus basketball championship 
what are the results? So since these are the last games of the elimination, there are two, of course, there are two uh, sets of results or games. So, uh, for example, St. Peter's College versus St. Michael's College. This is the score, 102-57, and this was an expected win. So 102 means to say is the score of SPC, while 57 is the score of St. Michael's. Grabe na gid. And we also have here ICI versus IMCC, uh, 9689. Of course, uh, please take note of the number of scores. Ha? ICI is 96, IMCC is 89. So IMCC was favorite team before the game because of their previous, previous, siguro nga mga kuan. So, um, so since the uh, facts or details provided are very limited you can uh, add imaginary you know imaginary facts that could that you think would help you in uh, making the sports article more colorful and exciting as it is okay and you can also add why is it important for uh, why are you covering this kind of event or the sports okay so you can use your imagination imagination mo ang limit ngayon guys okay wala man kuan because of the pandemic so yeah all right questions nana mi lead ma'am nana pud mi headlines oh nana mo pwede na mo magkuan but you can you can you know revise the revise um <clears throat> revise <laughs> revise your headlines and add more information so that you can you know um make your article much more interesting sign your readers okay so for those for a clearer kanang for a clearer review on what to do on your workshop you can go to lecture 20 uh i placed there um the the specific the more specific instruction and what to do on your workshop okay okay let me see uh wala mo na ko siya na kuan si let me share so that you'll be able to see you'll be able to see this one can you see it guys yes Yes, yes. Okay, so yes. for lecture 20 workshop yes, output, after the lecture workshop, proceed to writing your sports article. Write a story based on the facts given and follow the details and facts. You can choose any type or format of, of the sports article. You can also add other details that you think, you might think, you think might that you think might import it might be important for the story it is okay so uh, you should submit that one here on lecture 20 and the deadline is on or before november 11. okay questions it is an guys grammar questions so far <laughs> questions wala claro ra claro ra Yes, ma'am. Uh -oh. Yes, ma'am. Can you read the words, ma'am? Huh? Maglibo. Ah, ang If you want to start writing right now, you can, you know, write all the information. Use kanang words that are simpler. And ayan na ka magfill in akatong mga sports lingo na pwede na siya. So in a simplistic um, language, ni mo siya isulat. Like for example, Saint Peter's College won against. Um, Oh, the battle na dayon na something like that. <laughs> okay. Sige, questions pa. Di ba sa to, ma'am? Ma'am sport. Ma'am sport article among bottom uh -oh, no. Short lang, short lang siya. So, if you think you can also add other information like for example, kanang whoever uh or like for example, di ba duha man to ka teams kung sinsang madaw sa ilaha to mag championship na dayon by for championship ani nga specific date ana siya wag follow up siya nga kuan ba news about the next game na dayon ana question so far we have less than 1 minute None so far. Okay, thank you so much, everybody, for coming here today. I really do appreciate it. Please do work on your workshop and submit it as, uh, as much as possible. And then see you next time. Thank you so much, everyone. Keep safe. God bless. Bye, ma'am. Bye-bye. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, ma'am. I love you. Amping mo, guys. Amping.